to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Hear me. Some of you is, is, a, is a spiritual inheritance where you come from has that as a grace i'm saying this as a, prophetically you come from a background even a denominational background where god has given it as a spiritual inheritance i stand in faith with that ancient mantle i declare again for those called to the prophetic may your eyes be open to see just give me a minute and let this grace just just really come on people believe me there are people receiving this anointing some of you your grandfathers were prophets your fathers were prophets it's a spiritual inheritance given to you it's time for you to walk in that grace it's time for you to walk in that grace the seer's anointing the eyes that can see see beyond time see beyond science Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. I'm ready to pray for the sick. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. in the name of jesus christ shout a loud amen in the name of jesus christ who is that guy lifting his crutches He couldn't walk no 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 I'm not saying should. look at me my friend look at me in the name of Jesus Christ lift your crutches and walk just do what I'm asking you to do walk walk lift it up and walk Are you seeing what Jesus is doing? Come, walk. Don't be afraid. Lift it up and walk. He touched me. He touched me. And oh, what joy. Something happened. And now. He touched me. My friend, look at me. 
What happened to you? I got an accident. How long ago? One year. One year ago. Yeah. And it looks like it's not healing. No. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon you and I declare right now, right now, healed by the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, I declare life to your limbs. In the name of Jesus Christ. Life to your limbs. Life to your limbs. I declare a supernatural reconnection of the fractured bone. You came here believing. My friend, look at me. Stand up. Walk gently. Go. Turn and come back. I'm about to pray for the sick now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that this miracle remains permanent in your life by the power that raised Christ from the dead. And what do you do? I computer with him. You are what? A computer with him. I'm not sure I got him. Computer wizard. No, don't. You are not a wizard. You are, you are a computer. You are computer savvy. That's all right. Choose. You. In the name of Jesus, let there be a miracle for you right now. I shift you by the Spirit, in Jesus' name. Now I want to pray for you. We are still praying for the sick. In the name of Jesus, God bless you. Let him go. He's free. I decree and declare every spirit that is back of any infirmity and any disease. I command it to give way now. Give way now. I pray from the crown of your head, even to the soles of your feet, my God. I send such a strong anointing. In the name of Jesus, be healed now. Be healed now. Peptic ulcer, be healed now. Migraine headaches, be healed now. I'm hearing a name gastritis in the name of Jesus be healed now help that woman that's right in the name of Jesus be healed now any organ that is failing or has failed in your body I prophesy to you by the power that raised Christ from the dead let there be a brand new organ in your body now not just a healing of the current one a brand new organ in your body now blind eyes open now in the name of jesus someone has received a miracle there is that a miracle someone from crutch the crutches are lifted is that a miracle if that's a miracle that's fine Otherwise, if he's lifting it by faith, he can stand there and receive. Something has happened there. Well, we promise that we will not take out there. In the name that is above all names. There's someone, your right ear. It looks, I don't know if it's blocked or you don't hear completely with it. I command that ear to be open now. Every blood disease in the name that is above all names, we declare the cleansing of your blood now. Yes. Hear me, please. If there is anyone here with any troubling genotype, I stand by the God of heaven and I declare let there be a supernatural change of your genotype. Believe it in the name of Jesus Christ. Any lump in or growth in any area of your body, breast lump, abdominal lump, lumps around your body, I cause that growth right now. I cause that growth right now. I cause that growth right now. There's someone I'm seeing is like you have a problem with your fingers. 
you're not able to move your hands freely the power of god is touching you right now wherever you are in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ someone with a severe pain around your kneecap you're having a severe pain around your kneecap the power of god is touching you right now bringing you life and bringing you healing in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ the lord is telling me that there's someone you have a problem not just a problem smelling but i don't know what it is that happened to your nose i don't know if it's that there is a growth or there is a swelling it's very inconveniencing you're not able to breathe well right now by the power that raised christ from the dead let there be a miracle for you now there's someone please don't feel embarrassed you don't have to come out um you are losing weight drastically people think you are just fasting but this is not fasting at all you are eating what i'm seeing with the revelation god is showing me there's something wrong with your liver this is what i'm seeing you are losing weight completely almost looking like someone who maybe has some some kind of terminal disease i don't know where that person is but right now in the name of jesus christ be healed from that infirmity every other sickness every other infirmity mentioned or not in the name of jesus be healed from it now be healed from it now please lift your prayer requests i want you to pass it very quickly and i'll just give you a minute or two for those of you who are visiting the for the first time we usually come with prayer requests just as an expression of our faith in the lord jesus christ and would have the request here at the altar so that i pray and speak over it and if you're yet to pen down your request please you have a minute or two to just write this or you feel by the spirit that you should add something remember this is our last miracle service not the last service but the last miracle service for 2021 there's no miracle service for december because that would be during the break please write it very quickly following online you can send in your prayer requests all of the overflows please write very quickly and if your loved ones are connecting you can stand in and write for them please the moment you do that i like you to do well to just pass your request no one reads it pass it to the last person by the aisle and then left or right whichever and then we'll have our ushers come to pick it very quickly let's do that very quickly because we're about to pray i love this part of the miracle service because it is the most accurate expression of our desires i like you to write believing unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come believe me believe me he answers prayers our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name oh our father hear us from heaven forgive us one more time our father who art in heaven Hallowed be thy name. Our Father, hear us from heaven. Forgive our sins. Please write it down very quickly. We're people of prayer. We're people of scripture based prayer. The Bible says this is the confidence that we have in Him our confidence is that when we ask anything in accordance to his will his will is the jurisdiction of his response to the saints he cannot respond to the saints outside of the scope of his word that is captured in his will 
if God must grant answers to our prayers, the content, the requests must be consistent with the word of God. God does not just respond to the saints arbitrarily. He is bounded by the jurisdiction of his word. The word of God defines the coordinates for his response, his dealings with believers. This is the confidence that we have, the Bible says, that when we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And that now that we know that he hears, he heareth us, we have answers, the Bible says, to our prayers. Please quickly, quickly, let's have it when we're done. Please, let's bring it here very quickly. We cry, Abba, Father, hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. We cry, Abba, Father, hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. We cry, Abba Father. Hallowed be Your name. Hallowed be Your name. Hallowed be. We cry, Abba Father. Two more times. We cry, Abba Father. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Just a very quick announcement. All those who all those who came here to surrender their lives to Jesus, tomorrow by 5 p.m., 5 p.m. on the dot, we have a follow-up system for those who come um, to surrender their lives to Jesus. It will be at our other venue, the Daughters of Abraham, opposite Setraco. You can get more details um, from our PR desk immediately after service. But please, all those who all those who surrendered their hearts to Jesus Christ, do well to come. 5 p.m. on the dot, we'll meet with you there, share with you a few things, and then pray for you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Please can we rise while um, we collate the request. Please make sure all the overflows and our online family connect by faith. connect by faith hebrews 11 and verse 6 says for without faith it is impossible to please him for he that cometh unto god must come believing that he exists he is and then number two that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him mark eleven twenty four. Jesus was speaking and he said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, What things soever ye desire, 1124, Mark, when ye pray, he says, Believe that thou receivest it, and thou shalt have it. What things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that thou receivest it. You cannot have what you have not received. The protocol is that when you desire according to his will, you ask in prayer, believing, are we together? And then you receive by faith, then it becomes manifest. To have it means your hands will now handle it. But the first thing is that you must receive. And the Bible says, be anxious for nothing, it says, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. It says, make your request known. Don't assume God knows. Make it known. Make your request known. So in obedience to that scripture, we're making our request known. The cure for anxiety, be anxious for nothing, but that in everything, by prayer and supplication, even with thanksgiving, we are mandated according to scripture
to make our requests known unto God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Please stretch your hands towards these requests and just begin to pray in one moment that these Egyptians I see today, I will see them no more forever. Go ahead. Stretch your hands and release that word of faith. Let it come from the depth of your heart. Are you praying? Pray. Faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're praying now. You are mighty in our midst. You are mighty in this place. You're the faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Unchangeable God, unchangeable, unchangeable God, unchangeable God, reliable God, reliable God, reliable God. You are praying father we decree and declare let there be supernatural answers to these prayers i lay my hands prophetically by the privilege of priesthood in the name of jesus christ when hannah went to the temple to cry out her heart before the lord it was prophet eli thinking she was drunk she said no your maid is not drunk but this is a woman communicating sorrow from her heart and Eli spoke prophetically and sealed her desire in the name of Jesus Christ laying my hands upon these requests as a representation the most accurate representation of your desires I pray by the power that raised Christ from the dead let there be supernatural answers let there be supernatural answers yeah. now arise oh lord would you come to your resting place you and the ark of your might and then we will rejoice as we're clothed in your righteousness celebrate the bible says he that told you have asked for nothing it says ask and you will receive that your joy may be full i decree and declare whatever has robbed your joy as represented here you will never see it in your life again you will never see it in your life again you will never see it in your life again you will never see it in your life again i declare unto you by the power of the word of god that these egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever you will see them no more forever in the name of jesus christ every human agent that must come in partnership with the spirit of god to make for answers to this prayer we compel their ministry right now and whoever says over his dead body for this request to be answered may their own prayer be answered in the name of jesus christ sincerely i pray for you may god shift systems and shift structures for the sake of your request yeah. 
and whoever said where is your god may god use the answers to this prayer to answer them back in the name of jesus christ i stand upon this request and i declare that everything that has stood over you in the name that is above all names we bring it under your feet we bring it under your feet we bring it under your feet we command speedy answers to this prayer in the name of jesus speedy answers to this prayer in the name of jesus christ please stand we're wrapping up let me speak finally over your life and god is able to make all grace abound towards you so that ye having sufficiency in all things the bible says that you may abound to every good work that means whatever spiritual engracing that will be required to make for your efficiency it is within the power of god to supply to the uttermost i decree and declare every grace needed for the next level of your spiritual efficiency every anointing every mantle every supernatural supply of grace whether as wisdom whether as favor whether as counsel whether as might whether as the grace for dominion in the name of jesus let it come upon you now whatever has left your life that should not have left the bible says son of man can these bones live again he was not even seeing the bones he was saying would live because they were scattered and fragmented he says only thou knowest then he said prophesy to these bones and the prophet said i prophesied as commanded and there was a sound i stand like ezekiel i prophesy as commanded everything that has left your life let it come back to perfect order now let it come back to perfect order now the bible says the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon never to return again i pray for you whoever must send for you as a helper of destiny to bring you out of that pit in the name of jesus may god connect you to them <laughs> hallelujah exodus chapter 2 and verse 15 b and esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her verse 17 of the same chapter 2 and the king loved esther the bible says more than all the virgins and the bible says he took her he set a royal crown on her head and made her queen instead of vashti the favor that enthrones in the name of jesus let it rest upon your life <laughs> exodus 3 and verse 21 and I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians and it shall come to pass that as ye go ye shall not go empty whatever makes for emptiness in your hands in the name of Jesus may the favor of God stop that season of drought in the mighty name of Jesus I pray for you even by the supernatural power of the Holy Spirit the grace that makes for visibility it says you cannot light a lamp and put it under a bushel but you put it on top of a lampstand so that it will give light illumination to all who are in the room many of you are gifted many of you have been marvelously helped of god but there is no visibility to announce you in business in ministry those who need what you carry do not even know you are there i pray for you right now from where you are may you rise to an elevated position of visibility <laughs> hallelujah 
my bible says when a man's ways pleases the lord that he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him i pray for you those who sit as gatekeepers of systems and structures who will not give you access because they do not like you may the father of spirits manipulate their heart to your favor in the name of jesus christ because thou has loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore god even thy god hath anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows i pray for you the grace that distinguishes a man among your contemporaries may that grace for the sake of his majesty rest upon your life in the name of jesus have you heard of this proverb that in one day a nation is born it says but as soon as zion travails she shall put forth a son i declare speed to your accomplishments speed to your accomplishments in the name of jesus christ psalm 112 verse 1 blessed is the man that feared the lord that delighted greatly in his commands the bible says his seed shall be mighty upon earth i pray for your children in the name that is above all names you will never give birth for sorrow you will never give birth for pain in the name of jesus christ every spirit waiting at the corridor of destiny to hijack children and make sure they cause pain to parents we crush those spirits right now The Bible says the generation of the upright shall be blessed. I decree and declare, not only your children, but your children's children. Let the heritage of being blessed follow them. Then my Bible says wealth and riches shall be in his house. Listen, I have taught you here that there is the prophetic dimension as far as manifesting the abundance of the kingdom is concerned. The prophetic dimension will never be a license for laziness and lack of diligence the bible says a diligent soul shall be made fat is that true and that he that waters will himself be watered yet there are times like i've taught you where you can have a healthy net oh peter there are times where your boat is okay there are times you are even at sea and your fishing skill is there but you will still not catch fish because it is not of him that willeth nor of him that runneth but of the Lord that showeth mercy at that time you need beyond your skill you need the advantage of the prophetic the Bible says and by a prophet the Lord God brought Israel out of Egypt and by a prophet was she preserved I decree and declare by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic step into strange dimensions of the abundance of God. When they got to the valley of Tekoa, 2 Chronicles 20 and verse 20, the Spirit of the Lord came upon the prophet and he spoke. This is what he said. He said, believe the Lord your God, so shall you be established. He says, believe his prophets, so shall you prosper. There is something called the prophet's reward. It says, he that receives a prophet as touching the office of that prophet there are possibilities that follow every mantle and every genuine mandate from heaven no man sent by god comes empty there are engracings that accompany him and that at the instance of honor you can be a partaker of that grace i stand by the god who has shown me mercy and shown this ministry mercy and i pray for you experience the marvelous hand of god in your life in the name of jesus christ last prayer point it says thou shall call joshua in whom there is the spirit and thou shall anoint him and thou shall take some of thy honor and place on him you can respect yourself but you cannot honor yourself honor is conferred upon you by another and there is a grace that makes for honor 
just because you walk in integrity is not enough for you to carry honor honor means that the possibility of being despised has been taken away from your life when god places that grace upon you even kings will entreat your favor in the name of jesus for everyone connected to this vision everyone who is here following online inside and outside is our heritage in christ and part of the graces that follows this spiritual tribe may that mantle of honor rest on your life in the name of jesus christ by this impartation every semblance of shame and reproach let it be torn apart and taken out of your life in jesus name i pray in jesus name i pray in jesus name i pray let's celebrate jesus with a a, a hand clap and a shout in one minute Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashka Nakata Branda Katekos Kate Branda Katapa Kotosko to break a take a legata. The face of development, Lord, grant me the discipline.